so we're going to keep going. So those past three videos in this section talked about the CLT for means. Now let's talk about it for sums. So the second part of the CLT talks about that if you keep drawing larger and larger samples and you for each of those samples you take the sum and that all you're doing is adding it up. Those sums are going to form their own normal distribution. So let's think of this example. I give each of you, say we have a class of 200 students, I give each of you a six-sided dice and I say, okay, I want you to roll the dice 10 times and for each number you get, I want you to just tap, put it on a sheet of paper and then for your first sample of 10, add it up and get the sum. All right, then I want you to roll the, get the dice again 10 more times, recording what dice you get for, what do you get for each dice, and then record those and add those up. And I want you to do this 100 times. So if I took all those sums together and I put it in a spreadsheet and I ran it through Minitab, it would start to give me a normal distribution. So remember, that when we did it before, we had for the mean, we had the mean, and then we had a very specialized standard deviation called the sampling error. Well, we do something a little different for sums. And again, we're getting a different mean this time and a different standard deviation, okay? Again, I don't have to know the distribution or I can know the distribution. So, this is a little different. It's a little tricky, so bear with me. All right, so this right here, that funky looking E, means summation. And that means I've added all my X's together. They approximate the normal. And for my mean, it's going to be sample size times the mean I was given, comma, for the standard deviation or the sampling error of this standard deviation, it's going to be the square root of N times the sample the standard deviation I've been given if you're like what are you talking about we're gonna get there I promise don't be don't be upset we'll get there all right so let's look at this all right down here if you again you see what my mean will be of the sum of x it will be the sample size times the mean I'm given standard deviation is the square root of the sample size times the standard deviation I'm giving that's all you have to do. It's different than what we did before, because remember, we were doing means before. Now we're doing sums. All right. Here is the z-score for that. So don't let that throw you. So it's the summation of x minus n times the mean divided by the square root of the sample size times the standard deviation. All right. So let's do an example on the next one.